All right, I guess we get to this blasphemy that Lisa's going to yeah, give Lisa's us. Yeah, Lisa's about to break all of our hearts here. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. I've been prepared. <laughs> the crew of a commercial spacecraft encounters a deadly life form after investigating an unknown transmission. If you don't know, that is the synopsis of Alien, a 45-year-old movie. <laughs> uh if you don't know, now you know. We do a one sentence review of everything we review. So let's just start with Lisa and let's hear her one sentence review on Alien, who is her first time watching it, everybody. First time watching it. So my one sentence review for Alien is Who knew space truck drivers could be so stupid? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're space truck drivers. <laughs> hey, Time out. I got family that are truck drivers. Very smart guys. Yeah. <laughs> right? But space truck drivers are idiots. <laughs> Jason, you're one sense of you. Race relations in the future must have got a lot better. Because if I'm black dude, I'm frying that alien and white homie. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I'll go, yeah, aliens is better, but not by much. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right, that let's get into it. Um, blasphemy. <laughs> I was watching this with my son, and I feel like he had kind of the same emotional reaction to as Lisa did that these guys are pretty stupid. But I' gonna push back a little bit on that. All right, because a lot of the stuff that happens is because someone made it happen. All right, Ripley was like, "Don't let that motherfucker in here," and Ash is like, "I got you." Boop. Ripley's like, <laughs> okay, but also Dallas, Dallas, Dallas is a moron. You're he's right. a moron. He's the one who made it. Like, yes, Ash made sure that it kept happening, but Dallas should have never been touching shit. Like, you know, the aliens exist. You know that you're like what? on other planets. Six Time months. From they don't know that aliens exist. Kids. Dallas is just like, let me just touch these things. Boop, 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 boop. Like, no. That was Kane that touched it, and yeah, oh, the Kane, whatever. They're all Kane dumb. has touched it. They're all dodos. R.P. John Hurt. <laughs> but. I, I do you know what this movie reminded me of? Is I feel like um, what's his name? The creator of The Simpsons, um, Matt Groening. Matt Groening watched. Or Groening. You know who we're talking about. Yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. he watched Alien one night high and was just like, I know, I'll make a new show and I'll call it. Uh, Futurama. <laughs> After he's watching Alien, it is Futurama. But it the, is I, mm. Futurama. It is. They're Futurama. on the Planet Express. They're truck drivers. Yes. <laughs> they're, just, they're just delivering <laughs> shit. They're you know they have an android that's Bender who is a dodo. Literally will get them killed for no reason. They got the <laughs> badass who's kind of weird, Leela, who is also Ripley. You know they got the the old guy. I don't, I don't know. They got it all. It is <laughs> got it I'm all. sure you can make you can link it up one to one. I can one just for keep everybody. going. I you know like I can keep going. But let's yeah. be honest, Fry would have gotten his face into the egg and be like, "What is this? It's a space egg," and stuck yes. his face in it, yeah. and yes. would have got face hug. It's would have been like, drama. Don't let that guy in. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> right, right. <laughs> Hermes is yeah. like, "Well, we have a schedule to keep. Let him in." And then Bender would be like, "Oh, let's just see what happens and let him in." Yeah. <laughs> and Hermes always wants to get paid, right? So he's yeah. he's definitely the guy's like, "Am I getting paid for this or what?" <laughs> like, yeah. is this in my bonus? <laughs> so and, I want my full shares. And they're in space, and they remember to bring cigarettes. Like Hell it's yeah. the 70s. <laughs> my smokes. Yeah. My smokes, I'm man. so glad that cat didn't die. I would have just lost my oh no. Time. Me and Brody were watching this, everybody's like, leave the cat behind. That cat needs to die. <laughs> like, leave the cat behind, get to the spaceship, nuke it from orbit, game over. <laughs> No, we're me and my kids were like, oh god, we're like, tell us right now, James. Does the cat die? Tell us right now. We need to know. <laughs> is it the cat alien? Because I don't think we can handle this. The cat like, dies in the him. third one. <laughs> no. Uh... Facts. They just um, go out the way to kill the cat. In the third one. <laughs> look, I, so I love Alien, and I, I don't. I think Aliens is light years better than Alien. But that's just my personal opinion. But it's but they're two different genres too. Yeah. So let's state that as first. 
Alien is more horror sci-fi, where Aliens is more sci-fi with a little bit of horror in it. But um, movie. yeah, yeah. Um, the part about the cat, I think, is the what articulates this movie beautifully because for me, growing up, Ripley was my first final girl. So I knew when he, before I knew Nancy with Nightmare on Elm Street, and then Ripley was my first final girl. And I think her going to get the cat symbolizes like the almost altruistic goodness of that character mm. to like the, the nth degree. Because even the part where I talk about, you know, black dude should have roasted the alien or whatever, whatever. Like, remember, Ripley goes to down to try to save them, even though she knows there's probably no chance they're alive. Yeah. She still yeah. goes down there to try to at least to see if she can help. And, you know, going to get the cat and all that stuff. Like, so this movie's crafted so smartly because if you even think about it, you only see the alien for maybe five to ten minutes total in this whole movie. Mm -hmm. And I, I know for some people, minutes. they're like, yeah, yeah, it's not even that long yet. Most people would say, oh, that makes it terrible. But for me, it makes it great because you're able to give so much intrigue and suspense with very little much of the monster being shown. Now, the problem I realized, too, in watching this, again, because I've watched it more recently because I was trying to get my girls to watch it, and when I try to get my girls to watch it, I realized the biggest problem in Alien is that the times have changed, and our sentimentality and our, mm -hmm. at our attention level for these kind of movies have waned. This is a slow burn for, like, the it's first a slow hour. Movie. And it's really yeah. trying yeah, to get you to buy like into the characters. 20. Yeah, because yeah, it's trying yeah. really hard to get you to buy into these characters, buy into the system buy into the fact of who they are, what their missions are, and how they interact with each other and the protocols of the society. It really Scott lays that out beautifully, but he probably could have cut like 20 to 30 minutes off to make it work <laughs> more. But when I first watched it, I didn't know that because those were the kind of movies that were being made at the time where you did have a lot more slow burns and more things to build up to the climax. So watching it now and with kids, I was like, ah, I see how this doesn't, the beginning doesn't hold up as well. But once it started going, my kids were into it and I was into it. And I really want to show them that because like, again, like I think Ripley is the archetype that's going to probably for the rest of history, a movie for the final powerful, strong girl. And Lisa, the best thing is if you really like alien and you think she was the tough, badass and alien, wait till you see her in aliens. Oh my God. Get away it's from like, her, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like Ash and Evil Dead versus Ash and Evil Dead 2. Ash and <laughs> Evil Dead 2 goes to a whole other level of badassery. Same thing with Ripley and Aliens. But yeah, I, I love this movie, man. And I could watch this movie all the time, all day. Even just the melting of uh, Ash and his face. So great. Just such great, you know, uh, practical effects. So yeah, yeah. I, I think, again, that's, I, I dig it. For me, one of the cool things I liked about this movie, and this goes to Lisa's point, is like they're not scientists. They're not. No. They're not the best of the bunch. They are literally work blue collar workers who are stuck in an ex extraordinary situation, and mm -hmm. they make mistakes. And it's not like like in most horror movies where they just do something asininely stupid, right? They a lot of stuff is dumb, but it's a dumb from their point of view was kind of like. A mistake but not the wrong move for example you know as i said really didn't want to let uh freaking uh kane back in she said mm -hmm. it's not protocol we can't let him back in 24 hours <laughs> yeah 24 hours kane lets him or, or ash lets him ash, in yeah. because he's gotten different orders all right so when the thing bursts out of his stomach they're looking for something tiny right they're looking for a tiny little creature that you know, may have injured somebody, but probably they don't think to them these big, strong truckers would be much of a threat. They're going after it with a net and a cattle prod, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not knowing that it has, you know, metamorphosed into this giant killing machine. And so when, uh, uh, what's his face? Parker. No, not Parker. Parker's a black guy. Brett, that's Henry D. Stan. Goes yeah, off by yeah, himself yeah. for the cat. He doesn't know there's a fucking giant ass alien coming up from him. So of course he's going to get eaten. He's just, he just think he's looking a little freak. And now, now they're fucked, all right? The dumb thing was like, well, Ripley was going to go into the air shaft to try to, you know, chase it in there. But Dallas, like, no, I'm the captain. I'm going to go in there. And he gets mm -hmm. turned around because Ash is purposely fucking with them. The thing doesn't work. And he gets ambushed by the alien. And like every move that they make, even though they're trying to fight this thing, they're just grossly outmatched. And the fact that Ash is actively working against them. And that's what I really like about the movie is because in a lot of other horror movies, they'd be like, oh, it's a giant space alien. Well, let's all split up, go one by one. Uh, you search <laughs> in that dark corner over there. Uh, yeah. 
you search over here. I'm gonna go fuck this chick in the back over here, and like you know, not even worry about it. <laughs> and yeah. that's how it normally goes. But in this movie, it's just like Ripley tries her best to do the right thing, and it just doesn't work out for her until the very, very end, and it gets her whole entire crew killed. And that's what I really liked. And and the fact that like you know, I guess they had to get make her go save the cat because like our emotions of human emotions, are like your friend is injured, let him in, and so you can help him. But my black ass is like, let that dude stay out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's going to die out there on that planet. <laughs> we shouldn't stop in the first place. <laughs> here's, here's what we realized. So so for those of you who don't know, uh, I didn't watch rated R movies growing up. So the rated R movies, I missed a big genre. I missed a big chunk of like these classic rated R movies, right? And so my husband, he, whenever we first got together, made it his mission to just show me like all these great things that I had missed. And the problem is he showed me Predator because he likes Predator more than Alien. Oh, Predator is much more bombastic of a movie. So I have seen mm-hmm. all of the Predator movies and the Alien versus Predator and, you know, like all of that. So, and Predator is is action packed the mm-hmm. whole time and mm-hmm. and they're fighting against intelligent people you know like people who studied war like soldiers it's, just, it's not like predators hunting you know a truck driver down the road like it, <laughs> you know like it's a it's a soldier who's trained you know most of their life that, like a, a whole bunch soldier. of badasses who can kill yes people. So, yeah. so the, the problem is, is I'm expecting to sit down and watch a 70s action movie like that. And it was more of like an art film. Like it yeah. was very artsy. Mm-hmm. Alien is very artsy. Yeah, it and, is. And, um, and I mean, a lot and, of the like set said, design the slow, and stuff yeah, was done by H.R. Geiger. And if you ever watch, seen any of his work, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's weird and gross and also yeah. the crazy thing about this movie is like for a monster movie like the alien isn't really the bad guy the alien is just doing what in like it's supposed to do like it's literally bred to be a killer it's like if it's like watching Cocaine Bear that we're gonna watch later on this uh, <laughs> next year like <laughs> it's a it's a dominant species that's going to kill to survive Ash is the bad guy in this movie yeah Ash is the real monster he's the bad guy. Yes, yes, yes. It's Wayland. Wayland is yeah. yes, but like the alien itself isn't the the bad guy. It just or happens mother, to be. Mother, I guess, really, because if mother's the one, no, alien's kind of that guy. Well, alien is kind of that guy because he likes doing this shit. Let's be honest. He's like, holy shit, I'm in a room full of meat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but that's no different than any predator. Like you're in a room with a lion. The lion gonna be like, hey, the lion's gonna kill the first guy and then be good for a while. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe some of them lines do kill for sport. We watch the movie Beast. Uh, oh, so... <laughs> not an accurate <laughs> depiction of violence <laughs> or of people. Every, <laughs> everything in movies is real, Jason. Uh, but, yeah, like, but yeah, Ash is the real bad guy. Like, like this species, you gotta look at it from if this species is on this planet, annihilated some shit, gets put onto this ship, and is like, oh. What do I do? Genetically, I'm bred to just kill. And even furthermore, because you know, Lisa can, can, can attest to this because you watch Alien versus Predator. They literally yeah. state that in that movie, like like the xenomorphs are literally just killing species. That's what they yes. do. They don't yes. know anything but that. So yeah, he ain't the bad guy. He just they ain't going, going to college. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Poetry. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. They even build spaceships. <laughs> they just wait for yeah. other people to come pick them up so they can t- take it somewhere else so they can go fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Also, and just because I'm a geek and I like the Alien franchise, I mean, I stop at two. But you know, it's a story ah, in the comics. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a story in the comics where, like, while Ripley's on the escape pod before two starts, she has another enc- encounter with the Xenomorphs on another planet. And sure. the in her yeah, years. the experience because evidently Ash downs all his his mind into the the escape craft and pilots oh. the ship while she sleeps to another spot where he knows aliens are at so like xenomorphs had to get it but the experience is so bad and traumatizing for ripley she acts like one of the people that survived to wipe her mind and so that's why in alien 2 she doesn't remember that stopgap adventure but it's in the comics anybody want to check it out it's actually a really cool adventure and she shows how out of time why alien 2 comes in point while ripley's even more of a badass because she actually gets trained in that comic 
but yeah, she forgets, so it's motor skills. So anyway, also yeah, yeah. during the time that she's uh, you know flying back to the you know frontier space, her daughter uh, goes looking yes. for her. <laughs> yep, and there's a video game about it, and it's pretty good. <laughs> she has a daughter. You don't really find out to the next movie that she has a daughter. Uh, okay, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't also- bad. I didn't hate it. Let me just say that I will never watch it again. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I never nowhere near enjoyed it. So you know. it was some bullshit. Let's just you know what the yeah. one thing that, that really makes me angry though is not uh Alien 3, not even Alien 4, not Aliens vs. Predator. Alien vs. Predator 2 kind of makes me angry. Yes, but so uh Prometheus makes me pretty angry, but Covenant really pisses me off because it because it kind of fucks up everything about Alien. And aliens, and if you haven't seen Covenant, they basically in the, in in Covenant say, "Oh yeah, humans created the aliens, and or at least a human made robot created the alien like a yes. hundred years ago." But then you go to freaking Alien on the first one; they've been there for at least a, a few hundred years, if not thousands of years, because the space jockey is is fossilized. Mm-hmm. So it's just like. And the, and the thing is, it's like Ridley Scott made Prometheus, he made Alien, he made Prometheus, and he made Covenant. Covenant, and yeah. was like, I don't really care about lore or if this is going to make sense with what the previous movies. I just, I just like Michael Fassbender, and I just want him to do Michael Fassbender shit. <laughs> <laughs> because well, and, <laughs> maybe he needed an, another house in the Hamptons, and so that's probably just, that's like, true. <laughs> well, okay, I, I read because when you put that in, Jason, I had to. Research, whatever. So I did research some things on that that theory. So the first big theory on this is that the Covenant is a POV that he doesn't really curate the xenomorphs and all that. They already been created, but from his POV, he does because they had never encountered anything to the xenomorph type of species to what it grows to be. That's that no, because <laughs> well, well they, they back they, they back this up. What I'm saying, they back this up intelligently because. Every time a xenomorph gets a host, it mutates or metamorphoses into traits of the host. Oh, to the host. So yeah. this xenomorph could have always been around, but just had different hosts that never displayed what we see as a typical quote unquote alien xenomorph. That's so why the that, xenomorph I was like, in, in uh, Aliens 3 is different from the other yes. in Aliens and Aliens 2. And I was like, it, that's a good way to look at it. They say, okay, this thing's been around, so it still keeps consistent because the space jockey wasn't a human. Yeah. So that Xenomorph would have come out looking a lot different than what we saw on Alien and in Covenant. So, yeah. it, take it for I, what it's worth. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> if you had to have a Reddit post about explaining your fucking timeline, you fucked up, all right? <laughs> 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 all right. If you oh, gotta go back Jason. and say, well, actually, um, the engineers was Jesus, and uh, he did come back and they killed him, <laughs> y- y- you fucked up, all right? It's just bad storytelling, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I don't know. Or if you have uh, if you have a spaceship full of scientists and the one scientist who is a bot or a, a, a bio scientist, a, a, a animal doctor or whatever, I don't fucking know, mm-hmm. and he goes and pokes a fucking alien animal in the face with his finger, he deserves to die and he shouldn't have got his fucking PhD in the first place. And I hope he burns in hell. And I hope he burns in hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've never right. seen you, Prometheus, have you, <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> We gotta watch it. Gotten out of your system. Oh god! It has predators in it. I've seen it. No, it doesn't have any predators in it. No. I mean, uh, you know, um, Guy Pierce is in it. He's kind of a predator, so. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Well, there you go. All right, you got out of your system, Jason. Can we go to the ratings and then we can end off? (laughs) So we can just end this episode. (laughs) Yes, let's go to our ratings, please. Go ahead. if you don't know now, you know we have the uh, head cannon circus rating system. Head if it's good, cannon if it's bad, is mid, circus if it's bad. Uh, let's just, you know, since this is a classic, let's just go ahead and uh, overall story for Alien. Lisa. Um, overall, <laughs> overall story. Uh, I guess, I mean, I like Futurama, so it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, uh, I'm gonna give it a head overall story. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and ignore Lisa to say head as well. She is about <laughs> her opinion, and, and it's <laughs> not wrong. Unlike Jason's opinion, it's not yes. wrong. Yes, it's correct. just different from every single other living human being in the history of all time. 
<laughs> I think if I would have, if I, I really do think if I would have watched it first, I would have a completely different opinion. But I saw this in a re release in 2003 in IMAX and mm. Chef's Kiss. It was great. Uh, let's give around a uh, scariness. How scary is this movie? Head, Cannon, or Circus? Jason. Uh, I've seen it so many times, so I have to not be jaded. But for my kids watching it, especially the part at the end when the head seeps out through the pipes, uh, they really freaked out about that. So I'm going to give it a cannon just because it did make them jump in that moment. Lisa? Circus. <laughs> <laughs> did it did it jump? Did it? No, no. Like, oh, I didn't see that. Like, we were just like, oh, yeah, he's. The, obviously still there. There's 20 minutes of this damn movie left. Obviously <laughs> there's an alien on the ship. <laughs> damn, that's when you know she was bored. She was like pausing to check the time. Like, oh, <laughs> damn, it's oh, shit, it's still damn. 20 minutes left. 20 minutes? That's like watching the everybody. Batman. I watched the Batman. I was like, it's all left in this? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to give it a head because uh, this is probably one of the first films that give me nightmares when I was a wee Ooh. little child. <laughs> And I remember those nightmares, and I'm still scared of them to this day. Though I'd probably fuck up a xenomorph. I'd probably bare fist hand. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. Let's just go to our overall rating system. Uh, one, it's terrible. Five, it's good. Jason, what will you give this? Uh, I'm going to give Alien a four. Strong four. All right. Strong four. Lisa? Um, what did I give Wendell and Wilde? I don't fucking remember. I, I just got to make sure I give this that was higher. Twenty minutes that. ago, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is probably a three. I would say. Just, I mean, it's got. It had some good parts, you know. It's a three. <laughs> I'm going to give it a four point five out of five because I know next week I'm going to give Aliens a five out of mm-hmm. five, <laughs> and that just right. had to be consistent with my uh, one sentence review. That says it's uh the aliens is better. <laughs> Logan okay. said three and a half, three point five for Logan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He might, you yeah. know. He, he watched it more. with me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a child. He does his his opinion. No, Logan, your opinion <laughs> yeah. does count. He's your a opinion. teenager who yeah. gave it a higher rating than I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That that's a you, very good point. You young yeah. boys don't know nothing about no movies nowadays. Y'all just go watch the TikToks and your your Justin Bieber's. <laughs> yeah, all right. I don't know nothing about no good movies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so if Alien, uh, so this is what I noticed about the trailer. This is what I feel like. So Alien is about space truck drivers, Aliens is about space cowboys. Correct? That's yeah, you can go fair. with that. That's yeah, that's pretty fair. Okay. <laughs> so I was going to start it. Yeah, I'm like, no, good. <laughs> I'll wait. I feel like uh, Aliens is uh, probably one of James Cameron's best movies, um, because and and because of just how instantly quotable it is, and it's probably not really all that. I mean, I've seen it recently; it's not all that good, but, <laughs> but there's just so much just fun shit that happens in it. And it's like, no, I'll take the bat. Terminator Two is his best movie. No, nope, I take yeah, the bat. Two Lies is his best two movie. Is- so. True Lies is his best movie. His best sequel is Terminator 2. Yeah, it's his best sequel is Terminator 2. But Aliens is pretty high up there. Um, that's why I feel like Avatar 2 is going to be good. Because as Jason says, Jim Cameron makes good sequels. <laughs> yes, that's Typically. what I hear. Yes. Like the sequel king or something like that. Yeah. So that's why Avatar like, 2 is going to be amazing. It's going to be a billion dollars worth. And I'm not going to talk oh, shit yeah. about it unless it's shit. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen it. I ain't watched the review yet, but I can tell you what Avatar 2 is going to be. It's going to be look the same as Avatar 1, just with way more action scenes. I guarantee was, you. Like, it made a billion. Why change the recipe? Like, KFC and Popeyes, and we're it. making new chicken. Fuck that. There's a white guy's in jail with it, so I'm already going to knock it down like 0. 0.50 point. <laughs> <laughs> is it, <laughs> um, it's, isn't Avatar the one that he waited like forever to make? Because it took him 10 the years to make it. To be where yeah yes for both for both one and for two yeah it Um, took him 10 years to make avatar because he was because he had pitched it originally in like 99 and he realized mm -hmm. that the technology wasn't there yet and then uh two towers came out in Mm -hmm. 2008 or 9 or whatever or 5 2005 
Somewhere around there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he was like, oh, I can probably start making this movie. And then it took him another, like, five or six years just to get it all the technology together to get it okay. done. And it was still lackluster. He should have worked on the script. I'm sorry, Jason. <laughs> He's watching football. It's fine. Yeah. He should have still <laughs> should have oh. 10 years to work on the script. That's what he should have done. <laughs> well, thank <Here> you. <laughs> <Just hide. laughs> <laughs> So yuck, yuck. Oh, I guess we're reaching the end that the Elvis fans like, which is the end of the show. Uh, I don't know what I said there. But either way, uh, <laughs> thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, if you would do us a favor and like, share, subscribe, comment, interact, because as I iterate a lot and keep reiterating, uh, it feeds the algorithm and in turn will give us money. And uh, that's what I do things for because we're not in a cashless classless stateless society yet and so therefore i need money to survive so do the thing so i can get the thing and maybe we might get t-shirts for people i don't know yes you, get free <laughs> you give us money we give you free stuff see yeah how yeah see how that works it's like it's a <laughs> quid pro quo uh also for this uh month or this quarter or this period's book club please make sure to get uh the fifth season by nk jessamine uh, it's it's a it's a big one, so get it now so you can have time. We're gonna give you hopefully give you plenty of time to read it. We haven't picked a date yet, but That's get it now said. so you have time to read it. Hmm. Uh, and then Lisa's gonna email her and she's gonna not get back to us, but <laughs> she's gonna try. See, Lisa's good at getting to people. Uh, I guess next week we're going to definitely have Avatar two, uh, and yes. probably Aliens. Mm. Yeah. Yes, and then uh, something else, probably something animated. Uh, Under the Red want- Hood. Under the Red Hood. So those will be okay. our next features for next week. Make sure you watch them if you haven't watched them already. So you, if you don't want spoilers, especially for Avatar 2, you come in here because we're going to spoil the shit because uh, we're giving you a fair warning now. Uh, also, so I'll have still a watch- game of uh, Trash and Treasure next week. Bring Yay, that little jewel up out of there. Yes. <laughs> uh, but thank you all as always. Uh, Lisa, you have any last closing words for our guests? Um, yes, shop local. It's Christmas time. Please dip into your local vendors and dealers. Um, support your economy, small businesses, make the world go around. Um, also with the holidays, uh, especially the time change, I swear to God, it's been brutal this year. This uh, year, Check on your friends. Um, mental health is important. Just a simple text. Hey, how you doing? Haven't heard from you in a while. Um you know, please, please check on your strong friends. They're the ones who are never going to ask for help. So yeah, that's it. Be kind to each other. And always shop with your local dealer because he gives you the best price. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> do you have any closing words for our? Oh, I was going to say, I mean, my local dealer has the best weed. So that's <laughs> no, all jokes aside. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching, listening. Numbers look great getting better starting to get more subscribers so thank you to everybody who's joining us and watching this for the first time and hopefully this won't be the last time hopefully you know you enjoy us keep with us um i don't have any positive message like lisa so i'm just gonna say um there's three things in life you always gotta be you know you gotta you're gonna live you're gonna die you gotta pay taxes that's it (laughs) damn that's depressing (laughs) i know right (laughs) You can be anything you want to be, kids. Actually, well, that's a lie. You can't be anything you want to be. If Sometimes. I take it from a mother, she would like, the three things she would do is, what is it, Um, live, pay taxes. She'd be like, you're going to die, pay taxes, and stay black. That's, she's like, that's, she's always said, that's the only thing, three things I got to do. I was like, <laughs> I ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> if you're choosing death, <laughs> choosing death and taxes, Okay. <laughs> I don't even pay my taxes. Fuck, fuck the right, right. <laughs> <Wesley>. All right, Wesley. <laughs> Thanks y'all so very much. Uh, be kind, be considerate, uh, and always tip your servers and bartenders at least 20%. It's holidays, if not more, because uh, that's how they live. Uh, and if you see Jaren, that motherfucker, rob his ass, all right? He needs to get robbed right now, okay? Look at me. It's not a crime because it's Jaren. <laughs> please don't actually rob jared he needs his money too <laughs> have a wonderful night and man get away from her you bitch i don't know i don't know what <laughs> space, cowboys. space cowboys